And uh, today we are here with material engineer. Here is the conference house. Uh, from here, and um, we got to show you the works that are going on. He will let us know um, the works that are going on right here, and then um, everything about the OIC road project. Once again, I'm very happy to have you at the final stage of the contract. The contract yeah. We are almost practically completed, and what we are doing right now here, yeah. we're trying to link the main road to the VIP gate of the International Conference the main, Center. The main OIC road? Road. No. Okay. The main road, okay. linking it to the VIP gate. Okay. Where the, this gate is where all the presidents should pass through. All the kings and the presidents. The presidents should pass through. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So we're connecting it to the, to the main road. The main road. And it's also built into international standard, as the road is. As the road is. Yeah. So it seems like it is 10 centimeters. The uh, thickness of the... This one is about seven centimeters thick uh -huh. and eight meters wide. Wide? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it seems like um, here will be the gate for the... VIP. The VIP. Yeah. And the other gate will be for the guests. Guest. Wow. So can you take us around and then show us everything going on? Yeah. What happened from the main gate here, it goes almost about 200 meters. 200 meters. This one goes to Senegambia. This order to the hotel access. And there is going to be a roundabout in between. In between, yeah. yeah. They're trying to separate the gates into its function. Okay. The VIP actually needs very intensified security. security yeah. So, therefore, their gate is separate from the normal main gate of the gate. Yes. All VIPs are going through here and parked at the conference center behind. Behind, all the people? Yes, for security purposes. Okay. They will be separated from the normal pu public. Oh, yeah. yeah. Their gate of entry to the conference room also is different from the normal people. The normal one? Yeah, exactly. You mean in the, front, uh, the other one is at the back? Exactly. Okay. Only for the BIPs. VIP. That's many presidents and kings. The kings yeah. and, the, and the prince. Exactly. Wow. So, um, uh, what is the, I think um, here will be the final uh, work today. Um, when I'm not, um, when completing here, I think you will be complete the other side of the, uh, the third flyover. This will be completed today. Today? The road for the entrance of the VIP mm -hmm. is going to be completed today before 7 o'clock. 7 p.m. Yeah, this morning, today. Today. And actually, which means the road will be mainly available for all the VIP entries. Entries. And yes. So meaning there will be no traffic problem around here no. when the VIP is at uh, yeah. entry. It's going to be secure, uh, completely security control. control yeah. You can see the securities over there. Over you here. can see them also at that gate. Over along this road, it's going to be protected completely. completely. Because important people are coming through here, the presidents and the kings. The kings yeah. So they should not be mixed up with the public. Yeah. Not that they are more important than us, but because of their portfolio. And they are, uh, Yes. We have to respect and their them. Position. And their position. Yes. They have to actually be secured properly. Properly. Yes. So what do you uh, have to say about uh, um, the OIC Road Conference? Because, you know, Nice Gambia welcoming 57 um, um, member countries um, in the Gambia. What do you have to say to uh, I think, who are coming I think the with the OIC, mm -hmm. the committee of the OIC, yes. they have done a lot. A lot. To be quite honest. This is not only OIC alone. It should be actually, every Gambian should participate in this program, in this program yes. regardless of what party you belong to. Yes. Because it's Gambia force. Gambia force. The OIC is going to fall into discussion on so many sectors. Meaning it's bringing in unification. Investors, yes. discussion forums, mm -hmm. culture, agriculture, and other stakeholders of investors. investors. And funding agencies. So that alone is for the Gambia. It's for the Gambia. Yeah. So we all should wish well for Baro government to actually successfully host the OIC. The OIC, yes. As I used to say, we are technicians. Yeah. Our politics is just to build the right infrastructure for them. Can you say that again? <laughs> as I say, yes. our politics as engineers mm -hmm. is to build the right infrastructures mm -hmm. for, the for the government. And this is what Arexi and Saudi consul Gamtech, yeah. on behalf of the Ministry of Works at NRA, is trying to do. Yes. Yeah. And this road is here to stay. To stay. Forever. Forever. For the services of the OIC. It's 
like only two days. Exactly. Yeah. The road is international. Mm -hmm. There is no security threat on it. Yeah. And a lot of things has been widened enough. Space provided. Inside you can see a lot of security officers. A lot of security officers. They are trying to do rehearsals mm -hmm. and educate their people how they will take care of the protocols when the OIC is about to begin on the 4th and 5th. Wow. And also how to receive their people at the, at, 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 at the, at, at, at the airport. As you can see along this new road, although it's not finally handed over, but we are putting on also road maps to ensure safety driving on the road, safety on the road, so that everybody will be dictated by the signboards and so forth yeah, to arrive safely. And the road is being swept clean, free of sandy materials and construction debris. Yeah. All the guests can drive on the road safely, come here, go to their hotels, and safely, so and stay happy. one of the best roads in the Gambia? Yes, of course. But even not a best road, let's say, it's internationally accepted road, as compared to other international roads. Because we follow international standard practices of design manuals. Yes. So what do you have to say about RSC for their wonderful and their well job? Arexi, Arexi, as I said, it has the capacity. The capacity in the sense that they have the essential equipment. Very knowledgeable operators, site engineers and managers. And in terms of muscles, human resource capital, they have it. In terms of equipment, they have it. In terms of technical expertise, they have it. And that's what it takes a good contractor to be. To do. Yes. Oh yes, oh yes. I'm a consultant. We fight with them. Yeah. We disagree with them. But that's the job. That's the job. We are expected to review their plans, make sure that they do it into national practices. Because once you inject money, somebody has to value the money to ensure that what is in what should be done is in compliance. Can you, can you say that again? That's a point. Suppose when you invest some projects yes. and you're going to spend money. Somebody has to be identified to ensure that what they are doing yeah. is in compliance to the contract. Yeah. And that's what Saudi Consul Gamtek JV is doing. It's doing, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exa exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Exactly. And that's exactly what they are doing. doing in the Gambia. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So can you take us around and then show us? Yeah. yeah. You can see it yourself. Yes. Seeing it yourself. Yes. Everything is smooth over here. <laughs> and they are not yet done. You can see it yourself. By myself. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I don't think I need to explain more. Oh, yeah. Seeing is believing. And the more people are seeing it. Yeah. Here. Seeing is believing. Yeah. And once you saw it yourself, yeah. I think that's going to reduce the yeah. number of questions you're going to tell us. Yes. Over here, there will be some drainage system to go to the sea. Yeah. And after the accomplishment of this, there will be also road markings. This is an intercircle. Okay. So, apparently, apparently, you can see what OIC is doing. Yeah. That's the backyard of OIC. The backyard. Yeah. yeah. And the backyard has been cleaned, taken care of, to ensure people inside and outside are taking care of. Are taking care of. Yes. yes. Although, whatever may happen, we try to endeavor ourselves to make sure we achieve the maximum yes. to our ability what we can do to host them. To host them. Yeah. Yes. And I think they they could be hosted. They are going to be hosted safely. Of course, yes. Yeah. Because I think uh, it can take over um, fifteen to twenty thousand capacity. More than that. More than that. This is a multi conference center. Multi worldwide. Yes, you level. have almost about eight to ten conference rooms. rooms. Two bigger ones, mm -hmm. and then you have the smaller rooms of thirty hundred. over here from A to Z. Yes. yes, and you have two dining rooms. Wow. Restaurant. Restaurant. Where you have the kings and the ministers and the, the diplomas. 
Everything is in house built. You get the most inside of it. Yes, you have you toilet facilities. Yes. Everything in And it's not limited to only one conference room. Mm -hmm. It's about eight to ten different types of conference room. Yeah. Multilateral conference rooms, tete a tete, yes, graduations and so forth. While the meeting is going on, the countries which share the same interests can have a separate meeting. Yes, of course. On their normal uh, diplomatic tie mm -hmm. arrangements. Arrangements, yeah. yeah. Know that it's not only a mere conference. Some of them will have to take the opportunity to come and see what they can do with the Gambia. With the Gambia. Together. Together. Yes. Wow. So what powerful message do you have to um, um, say to our African brothers who live in Africa for so many years? I like they think there's nothing in Africa, nothing in the Gambia. Um, like they are not investing back to support the government um, to go um, to raise up Africa or to raise up Gambia to the higher level. What powerful message do you have for them? Um, First uh, of all, the OIC mm -hmm. is not only OIC. Yes. There would be a forum of investment forum by JIPA. Which is an opportunity of investment of anybody who thinks he can invest. invest. And some of the questions you are going to be raised, they are going to be addressed. addressed yeah. So I would advise all Gambians, let's all come together to support the OIC, the OIC. on behalf of the chief executive and the president of the Republic of the Gambia. Yes. Let them understand that the OIC is not for an individual, it's for, it's for the Gambia. Economically, socially, whatever it may take, it's for the Gambia. Gambia. Yes. Yes. As it's for the interest of the Gambia. It's us to achieve. Yes. It's to our benefit. Meaning unification is the power. Exactly. Exactly. International wars. They do their politics. After the politics is gained, they all come to work together to work for the nation. The nation yeah. When now there is time for election, they separate and sell their agenda. Agenda. But we could not be divided throughout no. politically. Even whereby somebody says something which is going to benefit the country at large. We say no to it. That's not the way we can grow. Yes. And also we should forget about tribalism. That's, that should be out of the agenda. Gambia, anybody who wants to promote tribalism, it cannot fly. Because our intermarry, our we are intermarry, we are interconnected, connected, yes. cultural, cultural, social, social. economically. Uh, yes. So how can you say tribalism? <laughs> Anybody who wants to sell that agenda, you are completely confused, confused and yeah. failing yourself. Yes. It's a no-go area. Yes. Any politician also who wants to promote that, Ask me, like you cannot me, move. I am, a, I am a jeweler, but I marry a full lady. I'm also a jeweler. Yeah, I know. I am a jeweler. But my mandinga is more perfect than jeweler. And uh, same way to me too. Mm. But as I see African. myself as a Gambian. As, as an African. Exactly. <laughs> Pan-Africans. Pan-Africans, yes. Yeah. So as unification brings the power, because I hear Jelly Bakuya and a lot of Gambian artists sing about the OIC summit in the Gambia, and they are singing about unification, like Gambia is our own country. Let's forget about tribalism. Um, let's come together. We build history. Welcome the 57 um, members um, uh, countries in the Gambia. Um, so as they said, unification is the power. Can we talk of that unity? Let me tell you one thing. Yes. All what Jaliba is talking is about culture. Culture. Any individual without culture, you are zero. Culture governs us. We are Africans. We are Africans. And we shall ever remain to be we Africans. Have roots, we have a culture, yes. Tradition. You cannot be a European, no yeah. matter what. No matter what. You are an African. If you cannot identify yourself who you are, you are zero. You are a hypocrite. Yes. Africans should be an African. And the OIC is an opportunity for us to sell and unify our culture and sell our culture. culture. That's who we, are. who we are. Yeah, and if you can accept us in those conditions, that's the way we're going to grow. The, the powerful question is, what do you think Africa is having and what do you think Africa is lacking? Africa is the most wealthiest. Africa is the most wealthiest continent. In the whole world? In the whole world. In terms of natural resources, uh, uh, agriculture, whatever. But because we are politically disunited, culturally confused, we can, most of us cannot realize this potential. Yes. But unless we come together mm -hmm. and we accept each other, order. and we make sure we are working for Africa 100%, 100%. these potentials will be realized. Wow. But the Europeans, the West will never leave us alone. Never. Never. Because you get the natural resources. From us. You get everything. They enslave us. Yes. 
So get what they want. So how they make sure that we they recolonize us? Civilize. Our former way of cultural living is the best. Best. That's what is happening in the UK. Yeah. There is no election to be to, for you to be a king. The queen does, the family replaces it. Yes. So they are not politically confused. No political confusion. <laughs> so what do you think Africa is lack of? Unity. Unification. Yes, unity. It's our power. Yes. So we are lack yes. of Yes. And we are divided by languages. Different languages, multi languages. You cannot understand what it is. Because it's these languages which even play a role to say you are a Jola, you are a Mandinka, you are a Serer, and all those things. Yeah. Like, there must be a national language for Africa. For Africa? Yes. Wow. If possible. So and also a national currency for Africa. So that our economy stay here, we borrow money to each other, we lend money to each other, and we grow properly. We grow properly. Yeah. There is nothing like hope. No matter when somebody likes you in Europe, he cannot build your own nation. He will meet you, you have the strength and the ability to do it, and he support you. Support. But he cannot come and build it for you, no. 100%, yeah, no, as no. the way you like it. Yes. If you want to design a house for me, you must know my lifestyle. Yes. And I dictate you to design it in that way. Yes. How can somebody outside the Gambia or some out of Africa design Africa, our continent, how we should be? How should we live our yeah. lives? Life. And what are our needs? We should define our needs better than them. There is a, a song I write not long ago. Mm -hmm. I said, in this Amaji year, you have too much religion that coming to pain. Was we ever live in God? Yeah. Protect your people yeah. from danger. And I also say, now what them people try to copy Babylon style, they're full of lies. The more them come, you yeah. have to realize full time my people to yeah. open them eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Because money make mankind to kill and sacrifice. Always believe in the oneness of the most higher. Who own the moon and the sky, we will survive, so we'll die. It's all about the life. Yeah. And we also know about tourism. We hear about the Buddhism, Madism, materialism. Yeah. Some successfulism, Hindus, worship if not coming by highest, Jah is the highest whom you can confuse. You cannot confuse the Africans. Because nowadays we are our, our brain is open, we know what to do. What I'm trying to tell you, mm -hmm. Honorable Barrow, President of the Republic of the Gambia, Gambia, went through an election process. And he won. He won, yeah. Whether you vote for him or not, or not, he's the president. He's the president. He's duly elected by the majority. You cannot do anything with that. You cannot do anything with that. It's the people who After put the him in power. We all have to come together. Exactly. So if the people put them in power, we should actually endeavor to follow him and do fulfill the, the agenda he's trying to do here. It's for the Gambia, not for Barrow. Not for Barrow. It's not into his pocket. It's for, for the government. For the whole country. For the whole country. This road. It's not Barrow's road. No, no, no. Barrow would hardly come here. Was it? He's in the state house. He had me come up. It's us who use the road for our services. Yeah, for our daily services. Both going and coming like when you are going to war. So it's communication for us. Yes. And travel time as well. Yes. So, <laughs> what are people talking about? It's the Gambia for us. Let's try to support it at this last moment. For us to host OIC, every Gambian should try for his maximum, whatever he can do, to make sure that this OIC is safely done. Done in the Gambia. Ah, and that's effectively done. That's what everybody is praying. Yeah. And then we all pray together. Um, this work project um, complete uh, in peace. Because um, we can see a lot of Gambians are out Let there. me tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. For example, I will not give this example to somebody. Yes. If I do it, they may think, um, um, so, suppose on me now, I don't support Barrow. But he's elected by the elected, people. Yes. What can I do from him? Me alone cannot change the Gambia. It's the people. It's the people who can change the, the Gambia. The voice of the people. The Gambia can change the Gambia. That's what democracy is yes. all about. Yes. So when the people vote for him, let's go what, by what the majority says. Yes. In the next election pool, we now see what will happen next. If he does well, he's going to stay. Yes. A minor. Yes. But all this development, it's part of his mental statement. What make people expect to vote for him? So may God only help him to give him good health and strength to be able to carry this country forward. That's what all I wish for him. Yes. Or to any other leader. In the world. In the world. Yes. So when are you going to fix the parts and the lines and everything? Tomorrow. Wow. Wow, tomorrow.
there's no more time to No, waste. I will never do that. Look, I tell you. My agenda is always to accomplish what government says. We are the government. The people are the government. Yes. And the government are the people. Because what does like government that? mean? By the people, for the people, and what? With the people. We are the government. We are the people who vote for Baro to be there. Yes, for the so we are the government. We are the government. We are parliamentarian, we vote for the National Assembly. We are the government. Yes. Those are the people who decide on our legislators. Because they are voted by the people. By the people. They don't take themselves there. The exactly. The so whatever they decide for this country, we give them the privilege to do so. Yes. This is it. If you don't give them the privilege to do so, they will never be there. Never ever. Yes. Me, I cannot be in the parliament because I've never voted, neither been elected. Yes, because that is not your role to play. Exactly. My role is here. It's here. Every should... Gambian should have a role to, to play. play. When we come Even to if I want to be a parliamentarian, mm -hmm. I'm not selected. But my role is my profession. Your profession. And doing my profession right is what is expected of me, yes. regardless of who becomes the leader. Yes. I don't have to sabotage or Ill, Ill, Ill fully do something wrong here. Because I don't like Mr. X and what? God will punish me for it. No, when it comes to the type of development, we should not be watching this is what it is. No. This is the party that I'm into, or this is the party that I'm supporting. Who are you going to pay the money? The Gambians. Taxpayers. Taxpayers, meaning the Gambians. <laughs> and if you don't do it well, yeah. the whole Gambians cannot forgive you that in the next world. No. So try to do it maximum to your ability. So if the road is not good, you cannot blame the president for that. They are paying people, they have recruited people to do for that on behalf of the government. When they fail government, those are the people to be punished. And you, politically, you cannot criticize. Although they have an oversight on us. When you do wrong, they should actually take necessary action. Yes. Of course. That's so that everybody will play a right part. part. But to, to be able to do it right, that's the privilege of people first. The first yes, thing be rules and, and regulations. Yes. To make sure that those policy coordinations are right. Are right. Failing to do that, this is what's going to happen to you. Whoa. So what will be the in, Chi in China you kill somebody, they kill you. In Saudi you kill somebody, they kill you. In public, I've seen it. Yes. When I was in Saudi, supervising the Chancery building. Okay, you also work in Saudi. I supervise, personally coordinate the building of Riyadh, ambassador of Riyadh. Yes. From the beginning mm -hmm. to the completion. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah. Wait, so and then my first going to Saudi to, to be able to diagnose the project. Then Sabali, what Sabali? Was the most Sabali was the director of budget. I went with him, with my minister. I met Mr. Sabali not long ago. Right now he was like keep what you're doing. Yes. I, I follow you. I, I was with him. Platform. He's an inter intelligent guy. Wow. Very intelligent. He's I intelligent. Him very, very Sabali well. play a critical role mm -hmm. on realization of the Saudi uh, yeah. Saudi embassy. We are the first people. Well, me, me, the former Latin board and uh, the PS Health Jaite. We were we from the delegate. I was then the most senior. In those days? Yes. Nyabali was the Secretary General then. Yes. We negotiated the contract and everything, evaluated the contract, and make sure that we awarded it to the right contract to Saudi. Saudi, yes. In the contract, it says every three months, I should go and see the progress of work, accepted work quality for me to approve for the government to pay. And I've been coordinating that until when we complete. And now you are in your motherland. Yes. The Gambia. Excellent. Everything is going straight. Excellent. Everything going perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, when I reach here, when I open my cameras, people used to tell me that, close your camera. We are not allowed, you guys are not allowed to open camera here. If Marlon James meet you here, <laughs> it's going to be something different. Yeah. I tell you, she tell and Marlon give me the opportunity. Yeah. Well, any time I want to take a video here. But remember, yeah. they don't know. Yes. The media has the privilege to collect any information wherever. Yes. We have an act of information. You cannot keep any information now. If I do, it means I'm not honest. People must to know what is happening. What's happening? This is not my money. This is not Adam Barrow's money. Yeah. 
It is not mine. It's the government. The Gambian. The Gambians. We're going to pay for it. Yes. If it is a grant, they don't give it to an individual, to the country. Yes. So the public must know exactly. Information is powerful. It's when powerful. you give them, if you don't give them the opportunity to understand what is happening, you are making them to throw any nonsense word on you. Yes, of course. So it's better to inform them. I always no matter, how, there is no question which is stupid. Yes. You who is answering, you may think it's relevant because you know about it. But it's to his level. You should try and make understand. understand. Go through what is happening. What is happening. So that he is satisfied with the level of tax he pays. Wow. So, I think this is a very, a very big achievement for Barros administration. Yeah. We are building the OIC based on our culture and heritage. Heritage. Come. I said we are we are building OIC based on our culture and heritage. Heritage. We cannot do it like Europe. We cannot do it by America. Like, like, because like. our standards and environment is not the same. It's not the same, yes. We have to symbolize some African heritage on it. Yeah. So that we can get the standard. Yes. Because when you come here, you should feel like you are in Africa. Of course, yes. When you come to Africa, you should feel like you are in Africa. Yes. Our designs also, you should feel like Africa. Yes. Our ecosystem should be protected. Our trees should be protected. Yes. The type of trees you have here would hardly be seen to some part of the world. No, no, no. Which we can also sell. You understand? Yeah, I understand. I get you. So it's like it's gonna be complete today, well before they say 7 p.m. Before that now. Wow. Before that. In another three hours we are there. Oh. We're moving. In another three it's hours. It's amusing. Yes. And it's really strong and standard. Yeah. This there will be drainage system around. Okay. Yeah. There will be the food party. Yeah. You can see. Uh, you can see. Let him point down there. You can see. Look. Look at here. View it over. You can see how beautiful. Come and stand this way. Let him come here. No one No one No one Can you see the road? Yes. You see it yourself? Very open and wide. Beautiful. Standard. This is the way to the VIP gate of the world. Try to inform the public about it. Emphasize on that. Nice Gabriel will be the first platform to show it to the world. Yeah. Yes. So what will be your last and powerful message? I thank you for the I thank you very much, Nice Gabriel. Yes. Always coming around to inform the Gambians what is happening. Yes. This is our country. Keep it up. May God bless you. This is what I got. May also Allah help us Amen. to enter Amen. into the OIC conference safely, safely. peacefully, yes. comfortably, yes. and healthy. And maybe it become a successful one. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the government of the Gambia. Yes. On behalf of the Gambia. And the, and the president of the Gambia. Yes. I think this is something to be proud of and it is the second largest gathering in the whole world. In the whole world? Yeah. Other you say, than the UN, the say, OIC is the best. Can you say it again? I think it's the second largest conference in the whole world. In the whole world? Yeah, it's the it's UN fourth and the OIC second. So it's going to be summit in the Gambia. In the Gambia. Yeah. In the, the most lovely country in the world. Exactly. The smiling coast of the Gambia. Gambia. The peaceful country in Africa. The smiling coast. And thanks, and thanks for Adam about for his leadership yes. and the leadership of the country. Thank you. Very Thank you. Yes. May God bless us all. Okay. You want to talk? No, don't worry. Yes, what's your name, my brother? My name is Firas Zinlavidin. Okay. From? Uh, I am from Tunisia. From Tunisia. Yeah. So, what do you have to tell us about the road construction, the VIP road construction today? Yeah, we 
we are at uh, almost 80 percent, 85 percent of progress. Okay. And we hope before the rainy season we will uh, close, we finish the work. The work going on. Yeah, the, the work going on. We will finish it before, inshallah, before the rainy season. Okay. Inshallah. Okay. So it makes it sense like you guys gonna be finish it with one one and a half months. Inshallah. Inshallah. Maybe the end of June. Yeah. Two months. Let's say two months. Yes. So can you tell us more about the project? How strong the project is? How quality the road is? Yeah, how this is. This the road is, is. I think this is the biggest project in Gambia. Yes. Uh, and uh, we. You know, we, we get a lot of support for this project from the head of state yes, all over and the all, world. The stake, all the stakeholders were pushing to, for the progress of this work okay. so to, and to solve all the problems uh, in front of us. Uh -oh. so, uh, so, Alhamdulillah, we are going well and uh, we hope to finish it before the rainy season. So can you tell us a little bit about RXD? Um, the way they are put on their road construction, um, the, you know, the workers are good, the company is good. So yeah. can you tell us? You know, you know the owner of Ariski, the owner of Ariski put all the necessary resources to achieve this project, as uh, to achieve this project in the, the in the our deadline. Okay. So we, we get. No we, up. Okay, so we get uh, all the necessary resources. Yeah to go with the, to respect the budget yeah. and to respect the delay, to, to, to respect time and with good quality. Good quality. Yeah. Yes. This, this is the first thing. Yes. Good quality. Good quality. That's so, the best of it. So we, 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 they, they give us all the necessary resources, resources. To, to get that... To use uh, it on the road. To use it on the road, yeah. And you guys get your equipment and everything to work out the room. Yeah, we have our designer is from uh, Portugal. Uh -huh. It's a uh, um, uh, uh, European designer. It's from the best in the world. Yeah, all the machines, you see all the machines are brand new. We buy it for this project. So to get the best quality. So for how long you are in the Gambia? How long you are in Africa? Well, Can I, you tell us how nice, how beautiful yeah, Gambia is? You know, you know, now I'm living in Gambia since uh, 2020. So I have like almost four years. Four years. Yeah. I already did the, uh, the road of Transgambia Highway between uh, Senoba and Terahid. Okay, okay. Yeah. Before and after the bridge of Gambia Bridge. The Gambia Bridge, yeah. And uh, for me, Gambia, the people of Gambia nice. are the best in the world. Can you say that again? <laughs> the Gambians are the best in the world. Yes. You know, they are very kind, they respect each other, they respect other strangers. Who say approach Yeah, the, the culture is good. They they want to uh, always to collaborate with us. Yes. So for me, I, I, I work in many countries in Europe. Yeah. And for me, Gambia is from the best. One of the best countries. One of the ever best. To. Yeah. Yes. It's fantastic. Wow. So when are you guys gonna complete the job from here to there? You started in the morning, seven p.m. Yeah, normally in uh, let's say in three, four hour time, you gonna complete it. Inshallah, it will be complete. So this is uh, what powerful message do you have to say to Gambian drivers? Um, you know, for them to drive safely, um, to save our beautiful road, to save our beautiful street lights, to save our beautiful you know people. You know, our beautiful what, country. The beautiful country. Yeah. yeah. Um, how to save the road? You know how to for them to uh, drive safely so that we can save our beautiful people for me i advise gambian driver to be patient on the road okay don't get hurry okay be patient we respect each other yeah. and all it will go good inshallah good inshallah. wow so are you arresting people are you ready to connect to other african continents or other african government uh -huh. to develop africa sure for sure we are here for that yes you know we are here to develop, to develop all Africa. All Africa. Yeah. So if, if Senegal wants, if Guinea wants, if Ghana wants, yeah, if South already, Africa we wants. We already work in Senegal, Guinea Bissau, uh, Gambia, uh, Guinea Conakry. Guinea Conakry. So if you guys are ready, Ghana, Congo, Malawi, Cameroon. Yeah, we are here for that. It's our job. Africa forward. Yeah. Africa one people. Yeah. Thank you for Thank your you very much. What's your name? Firas. Firas. I am lucky child of Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Tunisia. You are from Tunisia. Tunisia. Yes. I have followers. I have Facebook Tunisia. Okay. You have a, a, a Facebook page. Um, YouTube. Oh. I have Facebook. YouTube. Local TV. Okay. I will follow you on YouTube. YouTube. Nice Gambia. Nice Gambia. Okay. Okay. I, will check ah, I know. I know the page. You know the page. Yeah. It's my page. It's my platform. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yes. I will take your number before going. Then I will forward it to you. Uh, give me your number. I will flash it. Yes, as we said, it's all about the OIC conference in the Gambia, West Africa. Where you get them? So yeah, um, you can see well proper contract, well proper um, construction going on. And well, if you can take a good look upstairs there, you can see very nice buildings, you know, proper uh, settings. That's so nice. What? Hey, my brother, my food. Alhamdulillah, I'm good, yeah. Alhamdulillah. So, well, uh, they are doing it um, goodly, properly. The settings is going on. As you see, um, the actual app is going on. You see the big trunk is going on. Um, step by step, easy, easy, pass them. So you can drop your comment, whatever you want to drop out. It's all about the Gambia, the OIC road project uh, in the Gambia, West Africa. So it's connected. They're going to connect it from the main road where the VIP will pass through the presidents, the kings, and the prince with their queens. So um, we're here to show you out. As you know, Nice Gambia is the greatest and the best. Um, platform in the Gambia, we lead and others follow, we do and others copy, and advising all African YouTubers, Gambian YouTubers, to sell out or to cover good news about the Gambia, West Africa, the smiling coast of the world. Because the more we sell good news about our country, it's more we're gonna develop our nation. Yes, so the Gambia is here in the Gambia for you and I, as you hear the foreigners are saying. Um, when, when it comes to um, Africans, we the Africans, we say there is no foreign, there is no foreignership. Like when I come from here, when I, I go to Senegal, I'm not, a for, I'm not gonna be a foreigner in Senegal because my mom is a Senegalese. And then you know, when I'm from here to Ghana, I'm not a foreigner in Ghana. I am an, an African in Ghana. So we have to consider that in our mind that Africa is blank for the Africans. No borderlines, no nothing. Unification is our power. Gambia unification is the power, you know, mean. So you can see there is Senegal Gambia, the heart of the Gambia. And then there's a road that leads you to um, Bijulo. And then, you know, all those places. As you can see, um, there is the main um, front gate. 
uh, where they will um, the ministers and, and the ambassadors will pass through so this other road will be the kings the queens so it's gonna be celebrated only on the feet on the fourth and the feet of may in 2024 um, right at that moment so it's all about nagambia and Abanko. so stay tuned and focus with nice gambia right now we are going to visit our ladum farm stay tuned most of the gambians want to do farming so that you can inspire from nice gambia so it is sunday we don't have time we work from morning to evening suto for the name funny keba kela babaji is the cameraman behind the camera big up to yourself and big up to me myself lucky child aka the prince of the Gambia, Prince of Africa. So I'm gonna meet the Prince and the Kings in the Gambia. Stay tuned and focus so that you can have the chance and the opportunity to see Lucky Child, Nice Gambia, with the Kings, with the Prince, with their Queens in the Gambia at the OIC Summit. So they are certain very soon. Welcoming 57 member countries in the Gambia. Welcome to the smiling coast of the world, the Gambia. Kanu killing, Ghana killing. Nal salute. Bitangonyi. Kana jina kaldete. Subscribe, like it, and basically share it to the four corners of the world. Big up to all the Gambians in and out there. Kachi kali bambo mani na kye kontong. Ite you know. Yeah man, all I'm Gambians in Europe, all Africans in Europe, in Asia, anywhere Africans are. Salute from the smiling coast. Love you all. L O V Y O U. Big up to yourself. Respect.